Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Joshua with another Power Rangers lightning reveal. Uh, today I would like to show off to you guys my Red Century Ranger. Um, I bought this guy about two months ago when the prices started dropping on this figure. Um, I was pretty excited when they released this figure a couple months ago. But uh, when it was finally officially released, I really didn't want to spend the uh, scalper price on these figures. Uh, when they were released, a lot of people were trying to sell them for a hundred bucks a shot, and I was like, "No scalper, I am not going to spend a hundred dollars on a figure that I can get for thirty bucks in the next five months." And uh, sure enough, I picked him up about a month and a half ago, two months for about thirty dollars, free shipping and handling. And um, I was pretty happy about this purchase. I actually bought a second one about a week ago for about twenty dollars with free shipping and handling. I won that one on a bid, so I was pretty happy about that. Uh, the reason why I bought two of these Century Rangers is because I'm building I'm building a a Lord Draken throne right now as we speak, and I needed two Century Rangers, and got them both. And I also have the uh, Ranger Slayer, so I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Had the Ranger Slayer in my possession for over a year now. Still in the box. But uh, yeah, let's get down to this figure review. Uh, the figure, of course, it has you know, some accessories that it comes with. I don't have all the accessories with me right now, but I do have its alternate fist hands. Psh, 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 psh. It also comes with this really cool double-bladed sword spinning thing. I'm not really sure what it's called. And it also has a lightning effect that goes around the blade thing. Which I don't have in my possession right now. I have it in storage. But, uh, fuck me, right? Uh, one of the things I wish that this figure came with was an alternate, hand, an alternate head. Um, if I remember correctly, dur during the uh, Shattered Grid era, I'm pretty sure it was either Bulk or Skull that, that was a Red Century Ranger. Or they just gave us like a moderate Century Ranger, civilian head, like maybe somebody who was bald or kind of had like the military buzz cut. That'd be pretty cool. Just a random person, you know? I would have liked that. Uh, one of the things I don't like about this figure is the fact that they just reused the Red Ranger torso. And I remember in the comics that the torso had like the, the, the diamond print armor on. Like it had, had like a little like, you know, armor vest that it was wearing. And you know, it's obvious that they didn't put the armor on that. It's just painted torso. So that is a kind of a shame right there. It would have been nice if they would have sculpted that on there. Maybe somebody will do it in the future. Maybe somebody already has, and you know, it has like a 3D, you know, printed version of it that you can download online. Um, one of the things I really do like about about the figure is the uh, the helmet sculpt. It actually looks like the one from the 90s TV show, and I really like how they incorporated the weird looking, you know, square thing on the face. Like they had in the comics. It has no lips or anything. It's pretty cool. I like it. Another thing that Hasbro likes to do. Is they, they like to re reuse parts. And so again. It's obvious that they reused the chest. And they reused the arms. And the feet. And the thighs. All the way down to about. You know right here. That's where they re-sculpted uh, I, I really like the fact how they gave us new sculpt for the shins. You know, they have shin guards now, so that's really cool. I like how they re-sculpted this part of the lower thigh. It's nice. It's actually in there. It's not painted. And uh, all out, it's a pretty good figure. Uh, they also painted little lines in there to simulate armor. Which, uh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, again, my complaint was they should have used, like, actual armor vest or, you know, something cool like that. And the cape does come off. The cape is actually really done very well. I, I, I like it. It's made of softer plastic. Uh, right now it's about 45 degrees here in Idaho, so it's plastic. It's a little stiff. But it's, you know, it's still bendable. 
I like it. It's nice. It also has the uh, Tyrannosaurus insignia on there. I really like the way they did it. In my own personal opinion, what I think they should have done uh, was engraved the Tyrannosaurus insignia on there because in the future, this will eventually get scraped off somehow, you know. And it'd just be a shame. But other than that, you know, it it's nice. And it actually has a little peg in here, right there, that slides right into its back. And sometimes it can be a pain to put it in because the peg just wants to, you know, bend. I really like what they did with the skirt here. The skirt's nice. It's painted great. It was that injection mold red, obviously. Nice gold streak. White. And then it shows the belt buckle going all the way around. And it's nice. I really do like it. The uh, double bladed sword thing is really nice. You can see in there the insignia for the Tyrannosaurus. It's fucking awesome. And uh, I'm not really sure what these designs are, but I really, I'm, I'm really digging the designs. It's nice. It's great. Uh, just in general, another thing that I don't like about the male figures for the Power Rangers Lightning is that none of them are able to put their arms all the way down, like so. Now, if Hasbro can start doing that, that would be great. I just don't like having my figures walking around like they're fucking fat, you know? And, uh, in my own personal opinion, I'm going to consider this figure to be a minor uh, custom figure. And the reason why is because when I, they release these figures, they 90% of the time they don't add you know, paint applications to parts where they're necessarily needed. So what I did was right here in the straps, I painted those black. And then I also painted the feet black as well. Just to make it look better. And it does. It looks way better. And of course, now they're going to need some more... Uh, paint on them because I just gave them, you know, a single coat of paint just to see what it'll look like. But overall, this is a great figure. Um, it's definitely not worth a hundred bucks like what you fucking scalpers are asking for. Um, in my own personal opinion, I felt 30 bucks was a little excessive for this figure, but you also have to put into consideration of inflation and everything so i think overall 30 bucks was you know it, it was decent you know i don't have any regrets about it and i'm gonna give this figure about an 8 out of 10. uh the two main reasons why is because one they should have given us an updated version of the chest you know turn into chest armor instead of just repainting it and they should have given us an alternate, like, civilian head for this figure. Like, make it, like, maybe some random, like, soldier who's bald. Or maybe somebody who has a military haircut for this Century Ranger. Or for crying out loud, maybe give us a bulk or skull head for it. That would be pretty cool as well. But overall, I love this figure. This thing is amazing. I'm actually considering about buying a third Century Ranger so I can battle scar it. But uh, we'll see what happens. And that's all that I have for this review. And if you guys like my videos, please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.